All right, guys. A lot of people have been asking me how I make my kingfish curry. So I'm gonna show you guys. It's very simple and very easy. I'm gonna start off with one cup of coconut. I'm using round chilies and cashmere chilies. You can use as many as you like, depending on the heat level that you like. I'm gonna be using three round, they're pretty big. And then I'm gonna be using one cashmere for the color. To that, we're gonna add one tablespoon of coriander seeds, one teaspoon of turmeric powder, 10 peppercorns, and some tamarind. Now we're gonna add a little bit of water to this, just enough to cover the coconut, and then we'll start grinding until we get a smooth paste. All right, now that we got our water added, let's add on that lid, and we'll just pop it on. All right, All right now in the meantime, while your masala is blending, go ahead and chop yourself one small onion finely, or you can chop half of a large onion. I had a small one, so I'm just gonna use one small onion like so. And I just finely chop it for the masala. I'll also take a few kokum, wet kokum. If you don't have these, that is fine. It is optional, but I take a few, place it in a little bowl, and I just put a little bit of warm water on them and let them sit until we are ready to make the masala. Just like so, just a tad bit of water. I'll also take two green chilies and just put a slit in them, like so. I've also kept the fish to marinate in the fridge, some for frying and some for the masala. All right, so let's go ahead and heat our pan and just put some oil in the bottom of our pan about a tablespoon. Then we'll add in our onion and green chili. Nicely saute these until they're nice and golden. All right, as you can see, our onions are starting to get golden. Let's go ahead and add in our nice and fresh masala. Turn down your heat, because you don't want it to splatter everywhere. And you'll want to fry this for a, probably about two or three minutes you want to fry it before adding any water. All right, now you can go ahead and add some water. All right, add some salt to taste. Kingfish. Give everything a gentle mix. Pop on the lid and let it cook for a little bit. About 10 minutes. All right, it's been cooking for about five minutes, so I'm gonna go ahead and add in my kokum. Give everything a nice, easy stir. Pop on the lid and let it finish cooking. All right, so our kingfish curry has been cooking for about 10 minutes. And give it a nice stir, gently. You'll wanna give it a taste. To to taste for salt. Add a little more salt if needed. And once you've added your salt, it's ready to go. Look at that lovely color, guys. The color is so lovely nice gravy. Hope you guys enjoy. See you next time. Bye guys.